today's video we build this awesome creeper farm that produces absolutely tons of gunpowder. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Hello everybody and welcome to Consensus SMP, an amazing SMP server with 16 other YouTubers. Playing together, building together and crafting together all in one world but if you're new here my name is Zeno I make weekly Minecraft videos every Friday and Sunday and my goal is to guide inspire and entertain through my videos so if that sounds good consider subscribing and for today's episode I have a lot planned of what I want to do today so I want to build a creeper farm start working towards three wither heads and continue our mega base so let's get right on into it. But first, what did I do off camera? Well, firstly, I AFK'd at our iron farm that we built last episode. And oh boy, we are stocked up. I also repaired all my tools and my sword over at the XP Endman farm. It deafened me. And finally, iBook and Metallic Incorporated gave me some profit. So much so that over at iBook in the Unbreaking 3 chest, it's completely empty. So if I look in my backpack, boom, I have a lot more I'm breaking three books and if we load them up all in there that should last a little while but look at how many diamonds we have I would say we're getting closer to our goal of being the richest person on the server whilst all of this was happening some new shops popped up with Gano Gaming's Totem and Dying Shop and emerald shop we also have this amazing food truck that xp eve made and i spent a lot of money there and finally we have this awesome bone shop and also if we take a look around the back of metallic incorporated we have this wagon and this is shady books i believe yeah shady merchant and oh, if i can get up here it sells curse of vanishing uh, mending books and Curse of Binding, oh no, Vanishing Feather Falling, which could be really cool for some pranks later down the line. And speaking of today's video, this shop behind me is Ganu Gaming's Rocket Shulker and Elytra shop, and it's literally taken all my diamonds. I mean, it hasn't taken all my diamonds, but it's taken quite a few. So that's why we are building the Creeper Farm today. And today's farm is Shulker Crafts Cheap Design. Link will be in the description, but let's go over to where we're going to build this thing. After getting 701 trapdoors. Yay. All right, guys, so here is the chest point for the creeper farm, and I've got everything I need on this little platform here. And as you can see, just over there, that is our iron farm. And the idea is that we will have a temporary AFK point in the middle of these two farms, so it can AFK easily overnight. But guys, I don't want to waste any more of your time. I'm going to start building this, and then we will check in for progress update number one. All right, guys, for progress update number one, can someone please tell me why I decided to build this whole thing out of quartz? Because it was a stupid life choice. Anyway, moving on. All right, guys, so I've added in the water, and now it's looking like this. Now I'm going to get rid of this and create the collection system. But if we fly away, I kind of made it a bit too close to the ocean. But oh well, I mean, we'll just have less chest storage under here. It shouldn't be a problem, but it might turn out to be if we get tons of gunpowder all right guys so for progress update number two in the middle there we have where the creepers will die and if we come underneath here this is now our collection system yeah as i whoa okay as i said there's not much storage but oh well i mean it's not the end of the world <sighs> happened again my stream labs went black so you got black footage, so we're just going to skip ahead a bit and I'm going to have to redo the clips that I've already done. Yay. So from where I last left you, this is the last thing I did. But as you can see here, now I have added in a simple redstone clock, which will give a dispenser just there a signal, which when we fill it with water will dispense water, which will get the creepers off these platforms. And then I built a platform, as, I can, as you can see, and then when the water is dispensed, this observer will notice that, send a redstone signal, and just above it is a dispenser, and that will keep going for as far as we build these platforms up. Oh my god, it happened again. Guys, there was another chunk of clips that were black footage. Basically, I'll show you what I did. It's not very complicated. So what I did was I added in more of the levels 
Um, and then I added trap doors above them because basically creepers have a very interesting hitbox. So as you can see now, I'm in two blocks. Now, a creeper is a little bit smaller than me and can actually fit um, in two blocks under a trap door. So that's what we've done in this build. But seriously guys, there is way too much black footage, so I'm using OBS. If any of you guys use OBS and you know how to fix this problem, please let me know in the comments because I lost way too many clips today that I could have used that had good gameplay in it. So just let me know in the comments down below. So guys, now that you know how this hitbox creeper spider thing works now we need to know how to transfer between levels because obviously right at the bottom there is a redstone clock that sends a signal to the first one but how does that transfer to all the other layers so what we are going to do now is as you can see this is from a previous layer and what we're going to do is place a dispenser here that is faced up make sure it's faced up if it's not faced up the farm won't work then you want to place a temporary block above it place an observer into that block and then you want to place another dispenser and like me if the, you get to your final thing then you just don't want to place the dispenser and leave the observer like that and guys while i build this platform i never explained why i'm building an extra layer that's way bigger than the rest of them and that's basically because during times like this where it's sunny and it's day time the farm won't be working um mine won't be working anyway because i don't have i have torches on the les uh, so that i can put water in it on a later date but this is needed when we fill it in it, this area will become completely pitch black when we take away the torches which will enable mobs to spawn as you know mobs spawn in darkness Guys, so I've finished the roof and look, this is a very, very promising sign. As you can tell, the creeper has spawned. I need to shoot him because now what we have to do is add in the water in all of the dispensers. Because if that didn't happen, there'd just be a ton of pile up of creepers here and they wouldn't go down into the killing chamber. So hopefully this doesn't, I mean, it does go well and I don't die. So guys, we're gonna do one live on camera and then I'm gonna do the rest off camera, but if I, okay, yeah, if I don't do that, and if we climb back up the ladder, let's see if I can get onto one of these platforms, there we go, and put a bucket in there, then I can get rid of that, and this platform is now working. So if we go over here, boom and as you can see water is coming so if cre any creepers are there they would get pushed off so guys i've put the water buckets into the dispensers as you can tell but i'm having a bit of a problem i think the rate of the water being dropped are a bit too quick and i think this wouldn't let mobs spawn now i don't know if this is true so i'm just going to quickly hop out of the chunk and see if any mobs spawn but if they don't i'm going to increase the uh speed or decrease the speed so it's a little bit slower so more mobs can spawn and guys i was wrong it does actually work and now we're gonna make the afk spot at y level 192 right above the farm all right guys so we are nearly at y level 192 when we get there i'm gonna make this small little afk pod thing i don't know and then i'm gonna break these scaffold blocks and then i'm gonna afk because it's currently 11 o'clock where i live so i need to go to bed and we're gonna afk the night see how much gunpowder we get and hopefully it should be quite a lot and i'm just gonna build this afk pod and i will see you in the morning morning guys guys simply two chests just wasn't enough so guys if we take a look down here i've added a ton more chests and in there boom a full large chest and a bit more but you thought that was it boy were you wrong if we take a look in these three sugar boxes boom one sugar box of gunpowder two sugar boxes of gunpowder and three and a bit of string uh, we get string from this because, you know, there's no mob proofing of the spider, but I mean, it will go well for mob proofing. So guys, that is absolutely awesome. But you see, if we take a fly away from here and we look back at the creeper farm, you can see 
that it is very ugly. And if we fly over to our iron farm, you can see this looks really cool for an iron farm. Instead of just having the boring old physical build of it, we added a UFO around it. Now, the creeper farm will be quite hard to make a UFO around it because it's very big. So, we, what we are going to do is we're going to add these levitating effects in at four corners of the squares. So I'm going to do one now and I'll show you what I have done afterwards. Okay guys, so here is the build that I am planning to do. This is what we will build onto the creeper farm. I think it looks pretty cool. I tried to add in the top half of the UFO here, but um, if you turn around here, this is obviously my build test world. So I don't think I've introduced you to this yet, but this is where I will test out all the builds for Consentus season one but focusing more on the build as you can see i added in the levitating effect here it had to be a bit smaller a three by three in fact so i added in a glass pane at the bottom now this these levitating parts are sort of inspired by Fwip's creeper farm that he built in Source Block Season 1. He built like these like fire in these like fire things, but instead of a levitating effect, he used fire. To get a better idea of what I am talking about, check the link in the description to his video right after this one. But guys, whilst filming this, the pre-order order edition of Minecraft Dungeons came out and I ordered it straight away. So on May 26th the game fully releases and you guys should be sure to expect some videos on that but guys because we built such a big ufo for the iron farm all of our quartz is pretty much gone so i'm going to co go collect some resources for what we need so blue glass uh cyan terracotta and some more quartz and i'll be back when i have fully built it or I'm at a point where I want to build something on camera. So guys, as the sun goes down, if we take a fly, as you can see, I have finished this. And as that shows you, I am about to do some live work building. So I've added in the fire pit kind of thing that are kind of like the engines, I guess. Um, if we land here, break this and then pillar up here. What we're gonna do is build the levitating effect. So obviously on the iron farm, we had a bigger area to deal with. This one is a bit smaller, but as I showed you on the creative world, it's uh, pretty much the same thing. It's just a little bit smaller and it looks just as nice. So if we get all of this done, then go here like that. And if we break this, go down a bit, uh, we can add in the glass panes down here. I think we're gonna go with two. I think that will look good. And if we take a fly, let's see if it, this is good. Yeah, perfect. And now I'm gonna repeat it four more times around the outside and we're gonna see how it looks afterwards. All right, so if I just place the last two blocks there, that is now done. The levitating effect is done. But, but guys, if we take one more fly and we look at the creeper farm, look at that. Obviously I'll remove the crafting table and the shulker boxes up there. But I think this levitating effect looks so cool and it doesn't affect rates, so that is brilliant. Off camera guys, I'm going to AFK here at the creeper farm and go mining. It's really getting to a point where I don't really need to do much off camera. But guys, this is the end of the video. I do hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, I upload different Minecraft videos every Friday and Sunday, so be sure to check the next video out by subscribing and hitting the bell. And also comment down below if you want to see more and possibly if you have any video ideas for me to do. And leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and want to support the channel. But I will catch you on the flip side, guys. Guys, see ya.